What exactly is a stroke? Well, a stroke is, is most people, uh, there, there are basically two types of strokes. Most people have what we call dry strokes, where mm -hmm. a blood vessel in the brain becomes occluded by a clot. Now, most of the time, that clot will uh, originate mm -hmm. somewhere outside the brain, frequently in the neck or on a, uh, on a valve in the heart, and go through the arterial circulation into the brain and uh, go down the downstream, so to speak, mm -hmm. until the clot is actually bigger than the blood vessel, then it'll block the blood vessel off. Uh, mm -hmm. So about 85% of strokes are those type of strokes. They're called embolic strokes because the clot develops somewhere outside the head and embolizes to the brain. And then about 15% of strokes occur where the problem is in the blood vessel of the brain itself and it may be that uh, there is bleeding, the blood vessel actually leaks, that a clot forms mm -hmm. uh, after the blood vessel ruptures or the clot and the rupture occur at the same time. So in those individuals, there's frequently bleeding or what we call hemorrhage in the brain, mm -hmm. and that's called a oh, hemorrhagic that? stroke. Okay, is that like an aneurysm? Uh, it's a little different than an aneurysm. Okay. An aneurysm is a bulge in the blood vessel, and, okay. and they certainly can have bleeding and hemorrhaging, mm -hmm. but a lot of people that have hemorrhagic strokes do not have aneurysms okay. in those arteries. Uh, so those are, are basically the two types of strokes, but what it involves mm -hmm. is lack of blood flow through a blood vessel in the brain and the part of the brain that's supplied by that artery doesn't get oxygen and nutrients and the cells don't work properly and uh, if that goes on long enough the cells will be destroyed and replaced by scar tissue and of course depending upon what part of the brain it is that will produce a variety of symptoms. Well thank you very much Dr. Thompson.